Hello Kindred Resistors Against the Dysgenesis of Modernity. This is Govan here with GovanKilgore.com. This vlog is about my trip to Ireland, which was just around four days long, a short little trip over and back by ferry. And it happened near the beginning of February. And it was the around the beginning of my trip uh, around the UK. Um, so I had been in the UK for three months and I got back just a week ago. Uh, but during that period, I had an intensive period of travel throughout most of February. And um, yeah, I show the sites I was going there. One of the entire days I spent with the Golden One, which you've seen in my previous uh, interviews with him on both this channel as well as my Secrets of Longevity channel. And this uh, trip was very much about visiting the Hill of Tara, which for me, uh, I'm connected to through my paternal lineage I discovered when I did my 23andMe blood test. It had uh, a bit of history about that specific haplogroup that I'm a part of and it's quite a large haplogroup in terms of the overall number of people that have this connection and that's just due to the fact that the person whom we're all connected to over a thousand years ago uh, had multiple children in various different locations and then obviously all those groups and people would have proliferated uh, because they were in prominent positions in those societies and uh, would have had the ability to have higher numbers of children and for their children to survive. So whether or not you have this haplogroup, I think anyone can get enjoyment from the video. Um, but if you ever are a male who gets 23andMe done and you discover you're a part of this, I'd highly, highly recommend visiting this location as it's part of your genetic heritage. And whether it's purely psychosomatic or not, I think it's important to visit that land and feel that connection, that heritage. Uh, but I also highly recommend connecting with and visiting the lands of wherever you come from uh, in more recent traceable uh, ancestry, which is what the rest of my trip was about going through the UK. Um, I don't have any Irish uh, in me. In terms of my traceable family, if I look at my family tree, you know, going back several half dozen or more generations, but uh, yeah, this was purely a connection that I discovered through that 23andMe genetic heritage test. And of course, if you want to learn more about that unique group, I've got a video below uh, the RM222 haplogroup explanation and the heritage and what we believe to be the ancestry there. And uh, yeah, check that out in the links below. And here are the clips from my trip. So my journey within a journey begins with getting off or actually catching the wrong train. I caught one one stop early at the previous stop but the train I'm going to catch here takes me to where I need to catch a different train that would have been that original train if that makes any sense but over my three months here in the UK and Europe this is three weeks of non-stop travel and uh, yeah I'm pretty excited we're going to Dublin and then also Scotland, Isle of Man and other little bits of England here we see flooded farmers fields in Wales. I'm taking the train to Hollyhead. Uh, there's flooding that's been happening all throughout Wales as well as many parts of England. And it is the rainy slash winter season so it's not the end of the world. It happens semi-regularly from what I understand. Uh, as long as it doesn't happen during the spring, summer, fall, which is their prime growing season, they seem to be able to do all right. This is the Irish Sea on the north uh, shore of Wales, northern Wales, and I'm headed west to the no most northwesterly tip of Wales to the ferry terminal, which will take me over to Dublin, Ireland. Oh my god. Oh, a little 
little bit chilly, but I kind of like this temperature. It's maybe five degrees Celsius, six degrees Celsius. Oh, we're just headed out. I can feel the engine starting up. Let's let's go inside. Oh my God. Here we are in Dublin, Ireland. I actually arrived last night, but a little bit too late. It was too dark after 7 p.m. Uh, but we're back downtown today. I'm staying on the outskirts, but came down to catch a bus to uh, go visit the Golden One who lives outside of Dublin. And thought I'd show you some of this architecture around Dublin before catching that. should all be familiar with the symbolic nature of this object that this statue is grasping. I absolutely love the rolling emerald hills that make up the majority of the Irish landscape outside of the major cities. down the path or road that goes up to the hill of Tara. Just was on a one hour bus ride from Dublin and I'm pretty excited for what's to come. It is about a two kilometer or maybe one mile trek up to the hill of Tara from the road if you're on foot, but it is quite scenic if it happens to be a nice day. If you wish to read the text, Please pause as necessary as there's a lot more than I wanted to fit into the video and I pan over it a little quicker than is ideal. But if you don't want to read it at all, just skip ahead roughly three minutes in the video and you'll get to where I'm actually going to visit these sites just around the corner.
feel auspiciously serene <laughs> coming up here. Interesting in church area back there with all those crows. That's surreal. I'm about to climb this mound here at the start. The mound of the hostages, referring to Nyao of the nine hostages. It's a direct paternal ancestor of mine. It's kind of weird knowing something like that when oh, pretty breathtaking up here. You can see why it's an advantageous spot to have a kingdom centered around the High Kings of Ireland. You can see for miles and miles in every direction. Incredible view. An incredible day after days and days of rain. Seemingly in England and <laughs> the start of my stay in Ireland here. And seeing the sunset up here is quite incredible. On a clear blue sky on the Emerald Isle. These form the shapes that could be seen on those signs at the front. Clearer to see them from above, say from a helicopter, obviously. I could not have asked for a better day to come here. Oh my god. House of the Malaysians dominated Hill of Tara for over 1500 years. I'd even say maybe 2000. The longest running off and on dynasty of the Irish pagan royalty. I believe this is something commemorating Irish soldiers who fought against the British in that time, 17, late 1700s, almost 1800. So even though that time Ireland was no longer ruled by the same dynasty and it was a Christian nation, this was still a central hub and battles were fought here. Truly a cultural hub from Neolithic times through pagan post uh, Malaysian invasion times and down through the Christian era before being taken up by the old kingdom of Britannia.
This is the ancient ceremonial burial mound where since time immemorial to prehistory Neolithic times, the ancient Irish kings were buried. I was up here earlier. I didn't even realize this existed back here. So that concludes my time out here on the hill of Tara. I actually almost missed this mound, or the entrance to this mound. I was on the mound to start, thinking that was all it was. And then it wasn't until I walked back down and saw the signs and was seeing this thing about the carving that's in there that I was like, I didn't see that up there anywhere. And I had to ask for help in locating where this was. But it's because I walked around the other side of the hill and then walked out towards the other monuments over that way. And that stone, which is off in the distance there, I showed some up-close images of that, that old fertility symbol essentially, phallic symbol, it used to be located in here, it was moved over there as a uh, monument in connection with the battles that were fought there of the Irish versus the British. And it's worth coming here if you, ha definitely if you have ancestry that's connected here, I think. Uh, there's about a million of us who have the M222 paternal Y lineage haplogroup and um, that is spread throughout North America uh, obviously the most in Ireland a little bit in Scotland and a few in England and France and Wales and uh, that's a direct paternal connection to this region and if you want to check out my video that I go into more depth on that lineage because so many people have it uh, I'll leave that in the links below and um, yeah, this has just been one incredible trip to Ireland. This was the main reason for me coming, but I had lots of fun touring around for a couple days, meeting some cool friends and other people, and that concludes my trip here. I head back on the ferry tomorrow, and I'll be continuing on this ancestral pilgrimage to these sacred sites, to these sites of significance for myself, but for many of you who share a similar background as me as well. And if not, you can just... Uh, enjoy and see these sites yourself through what I'm sharing and one day if you're drawn to it visit them as well. So thank you for watching check out the links below like favorite and share the video if you feel so inclined and with that I'll talk to you again soon. Take care and may you spread logic and alt-right virtues among the dildotariat.